Let me boil down and quantify Obamacare here very simply and succinctly. You have a constellation of special interest. And at the top of that, you have the big five to six global mega banks that control the derivatives, the fractional reserve banking, basically unlimited counterfeit paper instruments. And they've been able to dominate most of the world, take over the resources of the planet with all that fiat garbage currency that they've gotten Western governments to sign on to and guarantee as their debts, turning us into financial slaves in the act of bailing them out. A giant ball and chain with a greater financial weight than the sun itself. Imagine that. A thousand Thor's hammers tied to our legs. That's the type of weight we're talking about here. Financially, culturally, all a giant fraud intertwined into all the pensions, intertwined into the culture, intertwined into the investments to where the cancer has become the body itself. And that's not enough for them. They have Agenda 21 globally to create neo-feudalism, to cut off resources, to make the public right at starvation level so that politically you will jump through any hoop for resources. So there's an artificial scarcity. And at the top of the pyramid, you have the large central banks that are in control. And then they've got other groups that are intertwined and interconnected uh, as well that are a big part of that. And they're the big lobbying groups. They're the political class. Uh, they are the select health care groups that are insiders who are exempt from the main Obamacare system who got their two cents in to have the legislation written to shut down their competition and to create unfair trade advantages. You've got the lobbyists that help write it to be 13,000 pages of addendums so that it's always creating new crises, always creating new problems, always creating the equivalent of a contested divorce at every level so that all the bureaucrats and 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 consultants and lobbyists can just endlessly feed off of new laws and addendums and executive orders to the giant metastasizing blob that is Obamacare. And that's why it was written to absolutely destroy the country so that they can piecemeal then be the saviors applying or backing off of certain areas of the main law to where then they create the problem they can offer the solution just like they help get government involved in health care to begin with driving up prices bringing in political corruption giving the political class power over health care just like they've done with the drug war just like they've done with the prisons just like they've done with everything else this is done over and over and over again so with Obamacare, the journey is the destination. That's the most important thing to understand here. And they have tricks they play. They don't want all of it to go in at once. They don't want you to know the reason your health care is doubling or tripling is because it was written in the bill. They don't want you to know the reason your payroll went up was because of the bill, your payroll tax. They don't want you to know the reason the IRS is going to garnish your wages and take your bank account is because of the bill. They want you to think it's all screwed up and broken, and that's why it's happening. And oh, you know, a million signed up the first day. I told you that's people that think they signed up, and then it turned out a month later, no one had signed up. And then they said three million had signed up, and it turned out it was 100,000 who had to do it by phone. And then all they got handed over to was an insurance company to screw them and double charge them bare minimum. People that never had insurance, didn't know how to do it, going into the most predatory hands. Then you've got other layers of the, of the political organizer, community affairs uh, type, where you have get the navigators, the ACORN 2.0 running around getting social security numbers, getting political data, getting people for political uh, enrollment, uh, getting people into your political organizations, uh, just good old-fashioned fraud good old-fashioned money laundering. That's all coming out in every major state. This is a criminal enterprise. This is a giant criminal feeding frenzy, like a group of 30 dolphins spending two hours surrounding and corralling a group of fish until they get them into a tight ball and then having a feeding frenzy. You are being 
fed on by a predator system that has designed the breakdown of the system so that they can reap incredible profits and control out of it with the larger social engineering plan of finally wrecking the civilization. Because the globalists are exempt from it all in their governmental corporate reservations above the law with diplomatic corporate immunity. So you have the banks, you have the insurance companies, you have the lobbyists, uh, you have the navigators, you have the sickening, degenerate, insider trading political class. Remember six years ago, seven years ago, it came out that Congress was insider trading into the billions and people were going to Congress worth a million and getting out worth 800 million. Not to mention their trust funds with billions. And the CBS headline was, insider trading legal for Congress. Put that into the search engine. Let's show the TV viewers. Radio listeners, put it in. Con in insider trading legal for Congress. Or Congress allowed to insider trade. Because they said so. Just like the police now say, we can come in your house without warrants because we say so. We can set up checkpoints on the highway because we say so. We can listen to your phone calls without warrants. Local police all over the country, it's now being announced, because we say so. And we can force inoculate your kids because we say so. And we can put fluoride in your water because we say so. And we can put cancer viruses in your vaccines because we say so. And we can set up death panels and make jokes about it because we say so. There's CNBC, insider trading in D.C. just got easier. Yeah, that was last year when they passed a law legalizing their insider trading. For years, they had said it was illegal, but they hadn't really done it. Then they came out and said, no, 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 we're just allowed to. There it is, Congress insiders above the law, CBS News. The, the point is, is that this is the event horizon of tyranny. They passed the point that we've now gotten to, they get away with the point they've now brought us to. Katie, bar the door. Because people are like, oh, all the corruption's coming out. Isn't this great? No, 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 no. If it all comes out and nobody gets in trouble and we don't reverse them, the dam breaks. And everything is fair game. And then people will get so desperate and scared, they're going to start shooting the enforcers and then the Civil War starts. Just as sure as grandma would put an apple pie out on the window ledge to cool it, this is going to happen. Just as sure as the sun came up this morning. Just as sure as birds wake up in the morning tweeting. This is going to unfold, ladies and gentlemen. This is a total criminal mass. And the Tea Party are a bunch of moral, on average, people that really are pro-gun, really are pro-family, who really do value freedom and who are really upset. They're not perfect. The Republicans tried to co-opt them the last six, seven years. That failed. And so now, ladies and gentlemen, the Republican and Democratic leadership are trying to gut the Tea Party. And they've circled the wagons. And... The reason the Tea Party's enemy number one is because they're informed. They know about the UN. They know about world government. They know that you cut taxes, government revenue increases. They know the system wants to stall the country and bankrupt the general public to complete our journey into serfdom and dependency. They know, they know, and they're learning quickly. My information, the information we've broken down here, by the grace of God, our real power, your real power, because you are the power of this broadcast, has now made it safe for the other big talk show hosts across the board to tell the truth. Because their constituents, their listeners, now know the truth. So even if some of those big national hosts had been sellouts before, it was mainly because they were scared. It was mainly because they were on a short leash. When more people speak out, we normalize telling the truth. It makes it safe for Right-wing talk show host, libertarian talk show host. For liberals in Hollywood who are real liberals in the vein of Thomas Jefferson, this is the reality.
And we are now at this absolutely critical crossroads. We are now there in a cultural revolution. They have their cultural revolution of socialism, of tyranny, of domestication, that they brand as liberal and happy and empowering when the fruits of it are total enslavement, lies, fraud, poverty. So we are now at that point where we have to go, no, we're the revolutionaries. We're the people bringing the Renaissance. We're the people bringing liberty. We're the people that are liberals. We're the people that are for human empowerment. We're the people that have the plan that's been proven to work over and over again. Tyranny's been tried a hundred times more than liberty. And it always leads the same place. It's horrible. Let's not go down this road. Let's be virtuous. Let's turn back now. Even if people like John Boehner wanted to do the right thing, he